Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Thoughts. I am doing your weekly reading for February 14th through the 20th, 2021. I do hope everyone is doing well. I want to take a second here to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, please check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate a little bit better. In addition to that, if you would like a private personal reading, um, the directions are in the box beneath the video and um, just email me. I'll be happy to help you with that. Also, um, keep in mind that in a general reading that the energies can reverse and so roles can reverse and also the um, time can be a little bit fluid so timelines can change. Um, so what we're going to do here at Gemini, I'm going to pull your energy. I'm going to pull the energy of the person you're connecting with and also the energy of the connection. Even if you're not in communication with that person, we'll pull the energy of the outcome by the end of the week. And then have a few questions in mind, if you would, because we're going to go ahead and pull some Angel Answers cards at the end of the reading as well. Um, also, please, Gemini, keep in mind that, you know, if the reading is not for you, don't try to shove yourself into a reading that isn't for you. Um, that's just not good for anyone. So take what resonates with you and just leave the rest for someone else, okay? So, Spirit, can I have the energy of Gemini for the third week of February? Energy of Gemini. Gemini. Energy of Gemini. It's too many cards. I don't feel comfortable with that. Energy of Gemini, please. Third week. All right, so Gemini, you start out with the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, and the Sun in reverse. So I feel like, you know, things are kind of going in your favor here um, with the Wheel of Fortune. So you may be feeling a little bit more optimistic about things that have happened in the, near, the um, very near past. Um, you are either wanting to communicate something or you're waiting for communication from somebody, but you definitely have communication on the mind. Um, with the sun in reverse, there is something that you either are kind of in the dark about or you just don't know and you're waiting for it to be revealed. So I kind of feel as if you're waiting for communication. Um, with the will, though, I do see that you're feeling pretty optimistic and in addition to that, the Wheel of Fortune can also have um, implications of the divine being in charge of this. So you may have divine timing at play here or with this communication, or you may just have um, spirit is kind of watching over this situation. All right, so let's see the uh, energy of the person that you are connecting with, Gemini. Oops, person that Gemini is connecting with, please been turned. Yeah, that's what I thought. Person that Gemini is connecting with. There it is. All right. Well, it looks like you're going to get that communication. We have the Knight of Swords, the Magician in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So, it looks as if you are going to get that communication, like I said. Now, the thing is, it, um, with the Knight of Swords, the communication could be a bit abrupt. So be aware of that. Um, Knight of Swords communication can sometimes be tactless and a little bit sharp. And I feel like um, sometimes it can even be argumentative. So hopefully it's not going to be an argument. But I do feel like this person that you're dealing with here um, could even be another air sign. But I feel like this person might be a little argumentative. Now, the reason for this is because they're feeling a bit insecure about their ability to manifest something here. They feel a little inadequate, to be honest with you. They're feeling as if they just don't have what is necessary to manifest what it is that they want. And as a result, I'm seeing that their heart is kind of closed down. So they're kind of holding back. They're, they're holding back emotions here. 
So it looks as if this person is a little bit insecure and they might come across as being a little bit tactless in their communication. So let's see, um, what is the energy of the connection? Can you see the energy of the connection with Gemini and the person? The Knight of Wands, yeah, lots of communication. So I do see um, there's gonna be communication back and forth in this connection. Um, there's passion in this connection. So, you know, the, the desire for communication is definitely going to be fulfilled. What is directly affecting this? What is directly affecting it? The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So this would indicate to me, now the Queen of Pentacles can be the, um, the spouse. It can be, it, it's the... The King and Queen of Pentacles are the married couple in the in the um, Tarot. So, what's directly affecting this? It could be a it could be a ex wife um, that may be involved in this connection, affecting this connection. This could also be a mother um, that may be affecting the connection, um, but. Whoever this is, if this is a person affecting the connection, it is not in a positive manner because it's in the reverse, and that's unfortunate. It, it may affect the stability of the connection. So I don't know if this person here is, it could be a, a, a mother-in-law, it could be a mother. So it could be a maternal figure, it could be an ex-wife, um, or it could even be... Um, it could even be, um, you know, if the two of you are, are separated, it could be your ex. So, it feels as if it's a person, though. Honestly, it does. It does not feel as if this is a energy other than a person. So, um, Spirit, can I see the outcome at the end of the week? Can I see the outcome at the end of the week? Okay, so we have the High Priestess in reverse. So something is coming out. Some kind of secret is coming out. Um, it's going to be something that you're unaware of. And we see that with the sun here. So there's something you're unaware of. You're waiting for communication about this. You're going to find out something. Be careful, though, Gemini, because whatever this is, um, I don't feel like this person is in the highest vibration. And I feel like this is what's going to... This person is is who is going to be delivering this information. But we'll clarify and just find out, okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is the underlying energy in this reading, and this has to do with commitment. So the entire reading is about commitment of some sort. All right, so it could also be, for some of you, something that's work-related, church-related, um, some kind of an institution. All right, so let's start clarifying because this is very interesting, especially once we got into the connection. So, and the outcome. Why is the higher or why is the wheel of fortune here? All right, so we have the Knight of Cups, another knight, and we have the Seven of Swords. So, there is love here, but there's something that has come out that's deceptive about this love. Um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, some, some kind of lying, cheating, stealing, something deceptive with regard to this offer of love has come out. Whatever it was that came out, um, Gemini, you were meant to hear it because we have the Wheel of Fortune. And like I said, it was that's a... That's divine intervention. So whatever it was that you found out with regard to some kind of deception, emotional deception, um, you were meant to hear this. You were meant to find this out. Um, why is the Page of Wands here? Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So what you're expecting to hear is that there is a connection that has ended, a love connection that has ended, 
and or or possibly not started something to do with love it's either a connection that that is not getting off the ground or a connection that has ended with the ace of cups so generally the ace of cups is brand new love and so it might be that you're making a decision after you get this communication not to go into this connection and you're going to stand your ground with regard to this. You're going to draw some a firm boundary here with regard to not, not going into this connection. It will be affected by whatever it is that you hear and what you're going to hear is going to, to be some kind of deception about an emotional offer all right so why is the sun in reverse here okay so we have the ace of wands and we have the queen of cups now over here your person has the queen of cups in the reverse here we're seeing the queen of cups in the upright so what you don't know is that the queen of cups mm, so Okay, Gemini, sometimes the Ace of Wands can be a fling. So the Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. Um, sometimes it can be a one night stand, um, but it has to do with passion. It's a, it's a very phallic symbol if you look at it. Um, so what you don't know is that this Queen of Wands may have had a liaison, may have had a, a fling or a one night stand. Um, you know, or some kind of a sexual relationship elsewhere. So that's what you, you're unaware of. If you receive this communication, that's going to cause you not to want to go into this connection. You'll stand your ground with regard to it because it has to do with the emotional love that's being offered here being deceitful. All right, so let's look over here and see. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, so we have the Ten of Coins. And we have the Two of Coins in the reverse. So you're going to receive um, communication from this person. The communication is going to be about a connection. It's going to be about this connection. It, um the imbalance in the connection um, or that they've made a decision about it as well. Now, the Ten of Coins is the everything card. It's, you know, the couple, it's the 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 dog, the 2.5 kids, you know, the grandparents. It's the everything card. It's generational wealth. It's, it's you know, long-standing connection. So I feel like this person has made a decision to, to have this type of connection with you. Um, I also feel like this person may feel that there's an imbalance. And so with the Knight of Swords, I feel like you're going to receive communication from your person with regard to this. Why is the Magician here in reverse? Six of Cups in reverse. And the Ten of Cups. So th your person is feeling as if they're, they're unable to manifest this complete emotional fulfillment with you because of the past. There's something from the past that has to be released. So because they're unable to release something from the past, they're they, they can't manifest this with you. Or they may be saying that you need to release something from the past. But it feels like, you know, them. All right, so why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Six of Swords. So, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, your person has pulled back. But they're not, they're not going anywhere. They've pulled back. They're not offering, you know, their emotion to you at this point. Or they won't be in the near future. But they're, they feel stuck. They feel stuck. And they're not, they're not really moving forward. They're, they just feel kind of stuck. So, it's almost as if this person wants this connection. They feel like it is, and it may be a long-standing connection. Um, or it may be one that they want. 
um, but they feel stuck even though they pulled their emotions back. Um, and I feel like it's because they feel like there's something here. They're unable to manifest. They're unable to really have the full emotional, um, you know, connection because they, there's something from the past that's holding them back and it's leaving an imbalance in this, in this relationship. So, so they're, they're not fully giving themselves to you. They're not fully able to express their emotion to you. They have emotion for you, Gemini, but they're not fully expressing it because something from their past is holding them back. Um, why is the Knight of Wands here for the connection? Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. We have the Nine of Coins. So there is going to be communication in this um, in this situation. I do feel as if one or both parties feel as if they may have been taken for granted here. Um, and I do think that I, I feel as if Gemini, you feel like you've been taken for granted. And you're going to communicate that. You're going to you're going to communicate that you don't feel like the love that you've offered has been fully honored, has been fully you know received in in a in a respectful manner. Um, the person that you're dealing with here may be communicating that they want to remain single. So they're going to be discussing something about being single, and you're going to be discussing you know that you don't feel as if they have have brought a full respect to this connection. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? I, I really want to know who this is. Okay, so it's clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So you may be dealing with somebody, um, again, I feel like this is a person. It can be either a fire sign or an earth sign. So let's see, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, earth sign, Taurus, um, Capricorn, or Virgo. But this person, this person, um, I, I feel like they're going to take action and they're going to basically offer some kind of information here. And the keep in mind that the information um, is going it's it's going to interfere somehow. It's a secret. Let's it's a secret. It's something that is going to affect this connection vastly. And they're going to be offering this information up. I I do feel that this person is not really in their highest vibration. And so I'm not I'm not really, I don't get a good feeling about them involving themselves, but it's directly affecting this connection. So can I have three for the outcome, please? It is a secret that's going to be revealed, a secret's coming out. Okay, so we have the three of wands, the tower. And the Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so... And I don't know. I, it, it might be you, Gemini, that's holding, you know, holding something back. Maybe, maybe you're the one who, you know, had the fling. Somebody did. Somebody stepped out. And it's a secret... This Queen of Pentacles, this person who is going to directly affect the connection, they're going to offer that information up. They're going to take action. They're going to give that information up. It's a secret, and that secret is going to cause a tower moment for you, Gemini. You're going to have a tower moment, all right? You're, you're going to be left waiting to see what happens. You're, you're both going to be waiting to see both, both Gemini and the cross watcher, the person in this connection. You're both going to be kind of waiting to see what happens next. 
Um, but I can tell you that for Gemini, it's going to cause a tower moment. So the foundation that this connection has been built on is going to crumble. And that is divine intervention. So whatever this is, I will tell you um, there's deceit in the, in the love offer somehow. And it was meant to come out. It will crumble this foundation because a tower moment happens when a foundation is built on, you know, dishonesty or if people don't take the proper actions. And so a tower moment is not something you can control. It's, it's divinely orchestrated, which is what we're seeing here. And it crumbles a faulty foundation so that it can be built upon a strong, stable foundation. So you may be receiving information that this person is standing their ground and not accepting the offer of love. Um, and it might be because, you know, they feel that you've stepped out or it could be vice versa. Somebody stepped out on the connection. The queen of pentacles knows this. They are going to, they're going, and this will be a, a mother-in-law, a, a, um, mother. Um, it could be an ex-wife. Um, it, it's somebody who is a nurturing figure or, or you know, or an, or somebody who has been married in the equation before, but this person knows they're going to offer this information up and it's a secret and that secret is going to wreak havoc. It's going to result in the cross watcher wanting to be single, Gemini feeling, you know, unhappy and neglected and a, and a tower moment for Gemini. Now the cross watcher is going to also be in a waiting mode, but they do not want the the um, conflict that is coming. So yeah, they have um, five of wands in the reverse. So there's gonna be a desire to end this conflict. So they don't want that conflict at all. Bottom of the deck, we have strength in reverse. So I feel like this is gonna be a very challenging situation. It's gonna challenge the connection itself. It's going to challenge the commitment of the connection. Um, I don't see the connection ending. I'm not seeing the death card here. I didn't see the Hierophant in reverse. What I'm seeing is that there's going to be waiting and a lot of it's, it's going to weaken the connection. It's going to take a lot of strength to move through this, um, but I don't see it ending. So, all right, so let's get, um, let's get some answers. So get, get the question that you have in mind, Gemini or cross watcher get your question in mind and let's see what we get from the angel answers cards okay okay so we have get more information. So I do feel like you do need to follow up on whatever this information is that this Queen of Pentacles in reverse gives you. So get more information. Um, you also have um, forgiveness. Forgiveness. Look for a sign. Okay, so that's important. So look for a sign and forgiveness. And then in the near future. So I feel like you'll be given a sign in the near future. But you are to get more information. And I also think that forgiveness is going to play a key role in this um, equation. Like I said, Gemini, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing this an ending here. So I do think forgiveness is going to play a key role in this. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you, Gemini. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like and share the video. Drop me a comment. Truly interesting reading, and I do read all of your comments. And until I see you next week, namaste.